Chanel 21K collection. Yes, it's out. I went to see it yesterday, although it was not the launch day, therefore a lot of the things were already sold out. But I still saw enough and I definitely wanted to give my opinion on some of the pieces. Unfortunately, in Canada, we're not allowed to film anymore. So I'm going to be splitting my screen today. You're going to see what I see on my phone at the same time as I comment. And yes, I heard you guys. You guys prefer seeing my face. I want to do a very quick shout out to my friend here on YouTube, Isabel. She co-created this beautiful necklace with Ana Luisa. Congratulations, babe. It's so beautiful. You did such a great job with the design. It's stunning. It's classic and it's simple. It goes with every single thing so you can layer it with your other necklace like I did today or alone. Imagine without it, it would still just be just as great. Love the shininess of the box chain. The little pearl is also stationary so it does not move around. By the way, the clasp is also very, very cute. It has the A stamp for Ana Luisa and then at the end of it, look at this. Even the little detail here at the end is just stunning. So congrats again, babe. I will be linking her necklace uh, down below in the description section. This collection is so cute. If you like your pastels, if you like your dreamy sort of rainbow color, this collection is made for you. But as per usual, I'm just going to comment on the pieces that I like and that I think is still sort of worth it. The mini flat bag with top handles, super, super iconic since the past few seasons. Obviously with the classic minis, you don't get a handle unless you add your own handles. On mine right here, this is a Samorga strap, which I will be posting on Monday. I would say for this bag, yes, the price did increase slightly this season, but it is still a mini and I love the top handle feature. I know that the chain on these bags are slightly thinner. However, I love a good top handle so I feel like the thinner chain and the top handle actually goes quite well together in fact I have right here my vanity case from 21a and this chain is so cute and the chain itself is quite substantial in weight it's just that it is thinner but with the top handle it actually goes super well together so I actually Still, I'm a big, big fan of this bag. I just wish that they continue making it in caviar, of course, but this season's leather color is just stunning, especially if you don't mind lambskin and especially if you love these colors, these pastel colors, definitely go for it. Or if you don't have a mini handbag in your collection already and you just want to start off somewhere, even the black color is wonderful. So I would say this is definitely a yes. Um, if I was in the market for one, I would go for it. Even this lilac color is just so, so stunning. I love the silver hardware on this reissue bag. Just beautiful. These are fun seasonal bags from the current 21K. So expensive though. I mean, it's stunning, but uh, I would never, I would never spend that kind of money. So it's stunning, but no, <laughs> too expensive. Yes, I'm going to be passing on these two because these are just crazy. They are so fun, but oh my gosh, the prices. This bucket bag right here and this, you know, acrylic bag, definitely collector's piece. Not for people like us, definitely not. Um, I'm going to skip over these. I'm just not, you know, I'm just not a big, big fan. I mean, this one is sort of like a velvet. I mean, it is a cute shape, um, seasonal. So if you like it, but I, I just don't find it extra special. So I'm going to skip over these. This one I actually saw in that store. Um, I think I like, I like the gold feature on the side, but is it enough for me to like to, to, to get it, especially at these price point? Is it special enough for me to get it? Maybe not, but I do think that this piece is stunning though. Uh, the interior is leather line and it kind of opens like an accordion and it does have like that little lipstick holder on the inside. So it's actually quite nice. Uh, but I guess because my collection is quite, I guess, you know, you know, I have a good collection already and I'm not really looking for another black bag, even though this one is quite special. Um, I just feel like unless you absolutely love it, do get it because it is quite nice. I do like this one a lot. Um, I actually quite like this bag too. This is their seasonal 
uh, flap from the runway and I like it. I really like that thicker chain. It's in calfskin and I actually saw the smaller version of this. So I'll show you the smaller version, which I'm super big fan of, but that one is more of a micro size also, which is not everyone's cup of tea, but I do like this bag. So um, I'm not in the market for another Chanel bag per se. Micro bags I am, but not for a, an actual handbag. But otherwise, I actually do like this one. I think the juxtapose, you know, thicker chain, the white color, just like the simplicity in a way, but the fact that it does have that bigger chain all throughout around the bag, on the bag, it's just so cool in a way. Moving right along, um, yeah. Same comment as the bucket bag, super expensive. I mean, I think these are stunning, stunning collector's pieces, but oh my gosh, the price, I'm just not gonna go there. I have seen the vanity case. So the vanity case, I've seen it in the black. It, they were on the models. And I think this piece, it's really uh, a love or hate, right? So unless you are a very, very big fan of gold in general, this is a lot of sort of gold accent. Uh, so unless you are already a fan of gold, then I think you wouldn't buy this. And this is probably something that will still be lingering around and that will be available. It won't sell out, but it is a stunning piece. Um, so I have seen it in store. I've seen the black one actually on their models. Um, also with vanity cases, you guys know I'm not a big fan of zippers, therefore I like it. I like it because it, it looks stunning on its own. It's leather line on the inside with that gold color leather. It's stunning. It's really stunning, but I just wouldn't buy it, right? So that's just me. Moving right along. I'm skipping some of these. Oh, I love this small box bag. I mean, I love it. I won't buy it, but I, I just think that the shape is very unique. I like that it's a magnetic closure. It's you know, so much easier than, you know, this is kind of like a little box too, but this one has a zipper all around. So it's so much more cumbersome. And you guys know how I just don't like fussy zippers. To me, this is fussy and I did get it, but you know, it is a novelty piece and uh, still a good price for, for what it is. But uh, this one, I just love that you just sort of, you know, yank it open like that. It has little feet on the bottom. It's a beautiful lambskin. This color is gorgeous. I've seen this color. This is their dark pink. It's just the most gorgeous fuchsia pink. I don't even know why it's in the fall collection, but I guess why not, right? Make winter a little bit more bright and fun. So yeah, I really am a big fan of this shape bag. I haven't tried it on though, but I am a big fan of it. And of course they have it in black as well. Um. You know what, with lambskin, I'm always airing on the safe side, so I probably would still get it in black if it was me, but I have to say this pink is just gorgeous. All right, moving along, they have this sort of crumple, they call it hammered metallic calfskin. I love it, um, but do I love it enough to buy it? No, I just love it. Like I always love looking at the very metallic sort of gold, you know, the 19A collection with the Egyptian, uh, New York Egyptian collection. That was just one of my favorite collection because it's so stunning visually, but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna wear these all the time, no. But it is stunning. All right, moving along to this really, really popular, super, super popular on Instagram among the resellers, consigners, this mini flap, which is, a square, more, more or less, more, it's kind of between a square and a rectangle, which is very, very interesting. It's also dimension wise, a little bit taller and wider than the mini square, which is great when it comes to fitting your large size phone. However, what I don't like about this, and I'm not saying that this is a bad thing necessarily, it's just that because I already own my classic minis, I'm not gonna get it. But if you don't have one and you're after a caviar mini, this is definitely something to try to get your hands on. I like that it has that square mini shape, but slightly larger. I just don't like that it doesn't have a back pocket. It doesn't show here online, but it does not have a back pocket. I'm also not a fan of the... I mean, it's, it's a good and a bad thing. I mean, I'm not a fan of this whole adjustable strap 
uh, in, in this case because that little mechanism there just looks too casual maybe like I'm not saying that it looks cheap it, but it does look a bit more casual which is not not something that I like I prefer if they just did the Coco Crush I think that would have been nicer uh, on this chain if they could have just done it on this chain with the Coco Crush make it shiny gold that's fine but um yeah, th that that kind of bothers me a little bit. But I will say because it's in caviar and a lot of you are still trying to get your first minis in caviar. And if you're especially afraid of lambskin, a lot of people don't really start off with lambskin nowadays. Then this is definitely a good choice. And the price is still, you know, it is Chanel, right? It's, it's basically a, an affordable price at this point because all of their bags are over $5,000 at this point, right? Uh, their all their mini bags are over five thousand unless you go for a small leather goods which are catching up to be honest so this one also comes in a very pale green so gorgeous this blue uh, pale pink black i've seen it in white too so definitely keep an eye out uh, if it's not already sold out because that one is gonna sell out very very quickly the coco handle this season oh my goodness it's such a beautiful coco handle i have to say of all the coco handle seasons since the one that i got so i have mine in the 19 p which is that really light gray color my favorite coco handle absolutely favorite other than that one this season's coco handles are the best they are gorgeous they have so many different colors there's this lilac color that my friend got and it's just absolutely stunning the inside is leather lined now which is absolutely a good idea because you are paying more for it but at least they give you the material and the construction seems to have improved it doesn't topple over anymore i highly recommend getting the coco handle from this season and i do find that for the coco handle style that a lighter color is nicer i find that coco handles look best um in a light color when it's a when it's a darker color it just seems more boring okay i know this print is really fun but i would never buy a fabric bag let alone so trendy looking but it is super fun and i think if you're a collector and you just like the more sort of unique pieces then go for it but personally i would just skip it okay this is the little mini flat bag that i was talking about that is absolutely so so cute and it's the same one as the earlier one in white that i showed you guys but this is the tiny micro version and it's really small i mean it will still fit quite a few things it'll fit your lipstick your keys it'll fit your card holder your key holder but it won't fit your phone but i absolutely love it i don't know there is something about micro bags that i'm just crazy about i hope it's not just a phase i do think that i will wear them throughout my life and of course they're not an everyday piece but i just love this one so much i just want to buy it and the only thing stopping me is the price because this is the price of a proper handbag all right <laughs> moving right along okay i think handbag wise it's almost done um they were talking about the brown color that came out in 21p to be repeating in this season in certain bags including the chanel 19. i haven't seen it myself but i have to say that this light purple color is so cool i mean i don't know there's just something about this light purple that looks kind of grayish looks kind of bluish which is such a beautiful beautiful pastel color i love it if it's your color then i say go for it and then okay these look older um yeah i think yeah this is this this is similar to the white one that i spoke about earlier i'm not in love with this color but i i love the style of bag i don't know there's something about the simplicity and the thicker chain that just really attracts me but I think aside from that, we are done with handbags. So let's take a look at small leather goods. Of course, what they advertise online is not the whole collection. You will have different stock in different stores and um, you know, different colors and whatnot. 
So definitely check out your local store because even I can't tell you everything. My store didn't have half of the things that I wanted to see because by that time it was already sold out. Anyway, moving on to small leather goods, micro bags, of course, they are the trendiest thing. And I actually tried on this one. Unfortunately, I didn't take any pictures. This one is the same one as their vanity case, but just in a micro version. And it is super uber cute. If I were to get something gold in small amounts, I find it totally acceptable. So this one with just enough of that gold accent, it's actually stunning. But I didn't take it because of the zipper. I just didn't want another zipper item that I'm gonna not like carrying. But I have to say, ugh, this piece was so cute. Yes, it is small, it won't fit your phone, but it will fit the essential. Again, lip balm, your cards, your cash, your coins, this will definitely fit. Wow, these clutches with chain with the mirror, they are absolutely novelty, but I have a line where I draw, where I don't spend that kind of money for such impractical items, but they are novelty and they are stunning when you wear it. Like when you style it, you're just into it, you're just into it, right? But um, I draw the line at, you know, not even able to fit lipstick type of thing. No, <laughs> actually you can't even fit a card in this one. It's impossible. You, you can't fit anything in here. So um, I draw the line there. This one, I had a look. I actually uh, had a look at a black one. So it's a so black and... It was surprisingly large, like the size of this micro low card holder on a jewel hook. It's actually quite large compared to a lot of their card holder micro bags. Um, I didn't take it only because the one that I saw was defective in my opinion. It was defective. They said that it's fine. Um, the hook was not uh, centered where it was able to bend like this. It wasn't. Um, so I just didn't take it, but I have to say this piece is, for what the prices are nowadays, it is reasonable. And if you're just wanting to dip your feet into micro bags, but you don't want to spend over $2,000, but you still want a Chanel piece, this is the one to go with. They also have a pink version, which is lovely. I did not see the pink version, but I did see the so black version. Oh, these small vanity with case with chains. I have one, I have the longer version, and they did increase in price quite a bit. Um, it's shocking because, I mean, this one is not even the worst. The one that I'm going to show you later is the worst, which is the one that I want. Um, I say for these things, it is now or never. Get it if you love it, because if you miss the boat again and they have another price increase, it will be way too much money. It is already too much money, but what can you do, right? Um, even if you buy pre-love, it will still be expensive. Card holder with chain. I would say it's kind of like a lanyard, actually. They call it clutch with chain. I don't know why. It's so cute. I love the chain detail with the little bag charms. I, I, I absolutely love it. Is it necessary? I mean, it is super novelty. It's, it's cute. Like, look at these charms. They are just... <laughs> They're like little card holders on a little chain. So it's absolutely cute and stunning. Um, a little on the pricey side. But if you're already someone, say, if you're in a creative field and you always have to scan your card somewhere in your company, for example, and you just want to look cute, this is something that you're going to end up using every day. Get it. But for me, I don't have a need for it. So... As cute as it is, I'm not going to buy one, but I, I honestly feel like if you're in a situation where you actually need to have a lanyard with a scanner card, I would get it Like if I were in your position. I'm going to skip over the box because the wallet on chains, they're always the same, but you know they do have their different prints and different variety of fabric and colors. This is that rainbow color that I was talking about that looked stunning in person. Um, it's not my cup of tea, like I wouldn't, you wouldn't see me wear something like this, honestly. Uh, I mean, it's not that I wouldn't wear it, um, I can definitely pull it off, but it's just not what I gravitate towards. I gravitate towards more saturated colors. Um, I even prefer this pink rather than that, uh, sort of very cool iridescent. 
Um, this pink uh, little card holder on the hook is so cute. I wish they had this in stock when I went. Of course they didn't. Uh, otherwise I would have bought it because it's just stunning. Like, I mean, it's just one of those things where you just are attracted to it when you're, if you're into the trend of micro bags, which I am, uh, I just I just wanted to add this to my collection. Um, unfortunately, there was no stock and uh, this these things fly off the shelf, especially because once an item is lower priced than you normally see, because all the other micro bags are in the two, three thousand dollars. This one is like under two thousand, under fifteen hundred actually. So of course everyone's gonna grab it. Uh, I like that this one also has a magnetic closure, something that they've changed throughout this season where um, even this one, which was originally from the 21A runway, they've revamped it and added a magnetic closure, which is a nice little touch, uh, but they also added a seven dollars $800 price tag increase to it. It's oh, heart-wrenching. I mean, I love this piece. This piece, uh, as far as I knew from our store, it came in four colors. This color right here, which is their light purple, a light blue, a dark pink, and a black. And you guys already know which colors I'm going to try to go for. I have a friend who is into card holders. I have a feeling that she might try to grab one of these really iridescent, cool colors from this season. This one I really like as well. I did not see it in person, but I saw it on Instagram and it looks stunning. Unfortunately, this little card holder is a smaller size, which I already have one the belt the boy belt bag that is um the similar size to this they also have this version in lambskin it's kind of more cutesy has a little bow detail phone cases this one is a thinner version it's not quite as robust as the one that i had before but if you're into a phone case and you like the look go for it uh, because at these prices like i said they are only going up um Personally, I've noticed that I prefer to just have my phone on my hands, which is why I am now gravitating towards micro bags instead that don't fit a phone because I'm always on my phone anyway. All right, I have seen this sunglasses case again this season and uh, they are not as popular as the first season, I think. Uh, there were still quite a few on display when I went. But I would say if you like the color way that they have the season, then maybe try to get it if it's your jam. I just find that the shape is a little awkward and it sits quite low because the chain is quite long. Obviously, I'm into micro bags. What am I talking about, right? But I find that with the micro bag, if it's the right length, cross-bodied, and if it's the cute little one that you wanted, that just changes the whole look. It just styles so nicely. So with the glasses on chain, I feel like it's more utilitarian, although it's kind of trying to be cool at the same time. So I don't know. I'm just not so into it myself, but it does fit a bit more uh, if you're not going to use it for your sunglasses. Um, again, they have this crumpled hammer and metallic for their small leather goods as well really cute and that is it for small leather goods costume jewelry shall we take a look i have to say the costume jewelry has been more and more sort of um it's not disappointing because i love the costume jewelry but it's just that the prices are just stopping me from going there it's just the invisible line that i just don't want to cross anymore because not only do I already have a, a good enough collection, um, if it's not at a price that I find still reasonable, I'm just not going to do it. So you're going to see me skip over a lot of these pieces. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I see a lot of the ones that I, I would like, you know, like this little piece here. I like a little uh, heart uh, pendant and I, I like the chain details so I might consider this if I see it and try it and it looks nice um, yeah a lot of these I mean just glancing at the prices I, I just can't bring myself to go there you know what I mean it's just so pricey they are cute though I mean look at this one cute little pendant large size pendant love a good heart detail um, these earrings, they're cute. I think I tried these ones. I was just like, meh, it's just like, 
shorter earrings. I like either studs like this one. This is stunning, the Chanel. Uh, I like either stud details or much bigger. So I'm either very small, just like my bags, I'm either very, very nano or I like a regular size bag, you know, like a, a mini or medium size bag, basically. Um, what else is here? Let's see. This one, they had several sizes of this beautiful necklace. It has that more substantial chain, so it actually looks great on. So I have tried it. They had several sizes. I tried the smaller size. I actually quite like this one, but I didn't buy it. It's just that um, it's quite nice. I actually really like this one. They didn't have it in store, but I've always been into a good Chanel choker that shows up, but they just never really carry them in our store or they maybe they're sold out all the time. I'm not sure. I just don't find that we, our store, I just don't find that they carry or that they buy so many chokers and um, the variety is always very poor in terms of costume jewelry. Shoes wise, I'm just gonna point out the ones that I thought was stunning and that um, if you're able to wear the height and the style, then I think they are stunning, such as this pair of beautiful ankle boots. I love all the little details, even the zipper, little pool with the CC, the little sort of uh, sleeve around the ankle, the sharp edge but with the Chanel gold panel there. Just very, very stunning. I like it a lot. And of course, the taller boot version is also quite nice. So just depending on which one you end up trying. Um, but in, an ankle boot is always easy to wear, right? I also really like this pair of shoes. I saw someone try the gold one, not necessarily in this fabric, but I did like this shoe. Um, I don't know if it's for me necessarily. I don't quite like the flatter shoes and Chanel shoes just don't fit me very well, but I did like it. Uh, I also like this sandal, the gross grain. Um, it's just a stunning simple with a little bit of a bow detail that is contrasty with the chain detail. I just like this look a lot. It's very clean and still you see a little bit of Chanel detail. I actually quite like this. Yes, these are the ones that I was talking about. So they have it in black. They also had it in white, in pink. Um, oh, these sandals are also quite cute. I did not see it in store, but based on these pictures, I actually quite like the simplicity with just enough of the Chanel detail, like the Chanel bow, the Chanel chain. I quite like it. Um, and that is about it for shoes. So let's move right along to our ready to wear, and then we'll just end with that. So with ready to wear, I find that the jackets are just stunning. It's really right up my alley. I'm just not so sure about the crop version for the winter since we're gonna move into i mean we're already getting the weather's getting quite cold already as it is in vancouver uh, we're in september now so it's already uh, quite cool in the mornings i think like around eight degrees celsius so i don't know about getting a crop jacket for the season i mean i guess you could wear a shirt underneath but crop jackets are nicer if you just wear it as a crop jacket and showing a bit of the midriff right so I like them. Maybe I'll try to get them on sale if I ever see them again next year. I've seen this jacket in person. I have not tried it on, but I've seen it. I quite like it. I think if you like the color, then go for it. Um, I have also, I'm a big, big fan of the crop jackets, like I said. And I think the price is, you know, reasonable for Chanel. I mean, nothing is reasonable, but like I said, I'm gonna try to maybe get my hands on one of these jackets when it gets on sale next year, if it's on sale, if it's available in my size. I quite like these. I like that the, the length is, I, I like the crop look, but it's also simple enough and it's still signature enough for Chanel and it does have, uh, you know, a few Chanel buttons and um, yeah, the red one too, I really like. Uh, in general, I find that this season's ready-to-wear looks very wearable. Um, this jacket also looks quite stunning. I have seen it in person. The material felt a little bit more rough than I thought it would, just by the look of it. 
Uh, aside from that, I also saw a couple of dresses that were really stunning and that I think would probably sell out this season. This being one of them, a high collar sleeveless dress. Really, really cute and the price is so good for it. I also saw this cardigan in store and I, I liked it. I did not try it, but I quite liked it. If you're into really long cardigans and if you have a taller frame, then it would look great on you. I think for me, it will sort of make my legs a bit short and for the price, I don't need things to make my legs short. You know what I mean? Belt wise, there was one that I really liked. This one, the one with the heart and the chain detail. It's quite nice actually. I quite like it. Um, it comes in different color as well. And this one also is quite nice, but I think for this one, I would probably prefer it in the choker. Uh, as a belt, maybe it's a bit boring, but I did like the heart one. The heart one looks stunning because it's a fall winter season. Of course, headwear will be very, very common. And I saw, okay, maybe it's not on here. Uh, actually this one, I saw this one that's really, really cute. I might try to get my hands on a little beanie in cashmere. I know that they have different versions and probably some of them are revs, which are, you know, like this one, the classic one that comes up every single season. So I'll see what they have in store, but I want to get something a lighter color because I just feel like I have a lot of hats now that are designer, but they're all black. I mean, I do have that white and black tweed one from Chanel, which is stunning, but a little beanie won't hurt as well on days that I just don't feel like wearing a hat hat, you know what I mean? And also with beanies, you can wear your sunglasses a little easier with a cap. It actually kind of is in the way sometimes. I have a feeling that a lot of you will be trying to get your hands on the cocoa handle or maybe even that mini flap with caviar. It doesn't have a back pocket and the chain is different, but it's still a good piece. I feel like if you don't have one and if you just want to get your hands on a mini looking bag from Chanel and you want caviar, this is probably the time to try to get your hands on. Anyway, let me know. If you're brand new to my channel and you like this type of content, I would love to have you back. So please do subscribe. Also, you can support me by becoming my channel member. I do live streams every single week with my partner Kat L and we have exclusive contents for our members as well. So would love to have you as a member. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.